Affordable phone ba ang hanap mo? Na di ka kukulangin sa screen, sa battery, at kaya mga basic needs mo? Ito ang para sa'yo. This is Vivo Y01, an entry-level smartphone from Vivo na di ka mabibitin sa iyong mga basic needs. I've been using this phone for about a week and sa tingin ko, perfect talaga ito para sa mga kababayan nating mga nag-online class, nag-work from home, and even sa mga scholars na nag start ng kanilang mga crypto careers na naglalaro ng mga play-to-earn games. Vivo Y01 has a large 5,000 mAh battery, a large 6.51-inch full-view display, at may sukat na 8.28mm which is light and thin compared sa ibang mga entry-level devices. These three reasons alone makes Vivo Y01 as your better choice among other entry-level smartphones. There are two stylish colors na mapagpipilian, Sapphire Blue and Elegant Black. Ang nasa atin, we have the Sapphire Blue and dalang-dala nito ang color branding ni Vivo. Let's talk about the smartphone. We already made an unboxing and first impressions for this, kaya more on a perspective of an end user ang mga sasabihin natin dito. Again, Vivo Y01 has a light and thin body and ang nagustuhan ko kagad dito is meron itong headphone jack. In terms of its physical looks, they went with a very minimalist approach. We have the power button and volume rocker sa side, clean naman sa kabilang side, meron tayong headphone jack, micro USB charging port, and speaker grill sa ibaba. And sa taas naman is ang ating SIM tray which is a triple card tray. This makes me happy dahil you can insert two SIM cards and a micro SD card to further expand your device's storage. Upon setting up our Vivo Y01, wala naman akong na-experience so far na major issues. I was able to log in my accounts and install my basic apps and games nang walang problema. In terms of camera, I don't have any complaints for it considering na isa itong entry-level smartphone. Both high resolution ito and for the cameras, we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera, 8 megapixel naman for the rear camera which supports face beauty, time lapse and bokeh effect. Ito ang ilan sa mga sample shots natin using Vivo Y01. Of course, tested rin natin ito for an online class scenarios and so far, it can really run all the essential school applications like Zoom and Microsoft Office. We also tested it sa mga play-to-earn crypto NFT games like Axie Infinity and it handled the game very well. According sa aking sister scholar, it's one of the great entry-level smartphones rin for people na magsisimula pa lang sa kanilang student ISCO career. Thanks to Easy Share at Multi Turbo 3.0 features, manageable ang mga bagay na ito. Speaking of Multi Turbo 3.0, tinest rin natin dito maglaro ng Mobile Legends and it can run the game smoothly. It's an entry-level smartphone for the year 2022 but kayang-kaya pa rin maipagsabayan sa updates ng Mobile Legends. O ba Victory! All of this na ginawa natin even with this huge display ay kayang-kaya ng large battery ng Vivo Y01. For full specifications, narito ang kabuoang detalye. When it comes to an entry-level smartphone, itong Vivo Y01 is something that you should really consider. Para sa mga estudyante na online class, sa mga kababayan natin dyan na nag-work from home, and even sa mga scholars na naglalaro ng mga NFT play-to-earn crypto games gaya ng Axie Infinity, eh pwedeng-pwede na rin itong Vivo Y01. Now, if you're interested with Vivo Y01, meron po tayong link sa description. Pwede po kayong umorder through that. Now, if you're wondering kung magkano po itong Vivo Y01, it is priced at 5,299 pesos. And again, meron po kayong dalawang stylish colors na mapagpipilian. So, go ahead visit nyo na link para makapag-checkout na. Now, I hope guys, itong review natin sa Vivo Y01 is makatulong sa inyo sa pagdedesisyon ninyo kung anong entry-level smartphone ba ang dapat nyong i-pick for this year 2022. And if kung nagustuhan nyo man yun, feel free to hit that like button and let me know in the comments guys kung ano yung mga questions ninyo with regards sa smartphone na ito. And lastly, huwag nyo kalimutan na mag-subscribe or mag-follow sa ating mga social media accounts and lahat guys. And uh, most importantly, thank you very much sa panonood. See you again next time.